It's a brave new world. Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely going to be different going forward. We, we certainly see from the stats that we've seen, especially in the enterprise side, mid to enterprise side, 60% of those businesses are going to keep all or most of their employees working from home. That's a huge number. So it's definitely something that we need to be cognizant of. How we manage those people going forward is going to be really important. The technology exists. I think a lot of people put in Band-Aid solutions over the last year because they were trying to get something spun up really quick. So I think we're still going to see a lot of this transformation off legacy platforms. But I think the next year is going to be, all right, how do I, now that I've got something that functionally works, how do I optimize it? How do I take the tools, the, the digital tools we talked about, the human side of it, like Dan was talking about, how do we make all this work so that we're as effective in this new environment? Yeah, and I think it ties in nicely to my sort of part in force, whether it's a business change, um, a, a technology change, a remote work pandemic change, most change failed because we don't put people first. If you haven't got the technology already, you're already falling behind. You need to speak to Derek and Tony straight after this call. But <laughs> if you've got that, you've got to utilize what you've got to get that return on investment. And you do that by bringing that people aspect in with the tech, tech aspect and accelerating your outcomes. You know, the future ain't what it used to be. And, and none of us really know what it's going to look like, I don't think, right now. Man, that's strong. 